morning students so let's start the first class after your summer vacation of chemistry so we'll start with a new lesson today we'll start a new lesson lesson number 2 elements compounds and mixtures so we'll start the lesson with a warm up activity given in your book on page number 15 you have to observe and name five things around you classify them as solid liquid and gas you have to write the name of the material they are made up of okay i have already learnt about uh, the matter and the three states of matter solid liquid and gas in standard 5 so today we'll uh, revise once more the three states of matter and what is matter and we'll see how we can classify matter on the basis of some of the similarities and dissimilarities in their composition so let's start the chapter you have learned about matter in your previous class so uh, you know that matter is anything which has mass and occupies space so the common things which we see in our day to day life like this pen has some mass and it is occupying some space on this notebook so on the basis of uh life the matter is considered as living matters like us and non living matters which do not have life so living matter has life in it and non living matter doesn't have life in it like the table chair salt sugar okay so this non living matter is composed of very small particles called atoms so atoms are so small particles very tiny very small in from which everything around us is made up of and you cannot imagine how small this atom is you cannot see the size of the atom as it is very 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 small to be seen from our naked eyes okay so these small atoms cannot exist independently except some of them so what happens they make a bigger uh, component called molecules okay so atoms combine together and form molecules so we'll define an atom as the smallest unit of matter that cannot be broken down by any chemical means and it exhibits all the properties of matter see when atoms combine together they form molecule so a molecule is made up of two or more atoms now depending upon what kind of atoms or molecules they are making the uh, matter is may be pure substance or impure substance so what is a pure substance when similar atoms combine means the composition of the matter is same throughout that is composition is same similar throughout the matter that is called pure substance and when it is not similar throughout it is called an impure substance so again we'll come to this when similar atoms combine they give rise to elements and when different atoms combine they give rise to compounds okay so we'll define molecules as a molecule is the smallest unit of matter which can exist independently and exhibits all the properties of matter okay so depending upon their properties again elements are classified into metals non metals metalloids and noble gases okay and compounds are made up of atoms different types of atoms okay the number of atoms vary according to the in different compounds you can say okay then mixtures are impure substances 
Impure substances are those where the composition is not seen throughout. Again, mixture is uh, divided as homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Now, let's see what is a pure substance and a mixed substance. But before that, uh, let's see once more what you have learned in standard 5. Okay, so on the basis of the different states, matter may be solid, which has fixed shape and, uh, and size. Liquids uh, do not have a fixed shape but have a definite volume. Solids have a definite shape, size and volume. And gases neither have definite shape nor volume. Okay. So, now let's see what are pure substances and what are uh, impure substances. See water. We all drink water at our homes. So, if you will see the tiniest particle of water, it will have the uniform composition irrespective of the place it is brought from so the substances which has properties like this are considered as pure substances that are made up of one kind of atoms or molecules so the pure substances has a definite composition that means same composition and same properties throughout okay but an impure substance okay uh, may have uh, other substances or uh, in small amounts very small amounts okay. like this you can see the bronze and the uh, bronze articles and the brass articles so they may not have a definite composition throughout okay so such things are called impure substances. Okay. The uh, pro uh, definition of a pure substance and the properties of the pure substance. So a pure substance are the substances containing the same kind of atoms or molecules. Okay. So they have a uniform composition throughout and has a definite set of properties. Okay. Definite set of, uh, set of properties means they are made up of one kind of atoms or molecules and they will have some unique properties like fixed at a fixed temperature they will melt and at fixed temperature they will boil and other things. Okay. The elements and compounds comes under this kind of category. Okay. So, we have seen in the flowchart also that the elements and the compounds come under this kind of category. Okay. So, the third is a pure substance. has a fixed melting and boiling points so this is the example okay and these are the properties so property number one what was that that they have a uniform composition and a definite set of properties. And second is that they have a fixed melting and boiling point. Then, uh, components of a pure substance cannot be separated by simple physical methods. So, the third property is the components of a Pure substance cannot be separated by simple physical methods. Now, what are these physical methods? You may have this picture. So, here 
tea is separated using a strainer uh, and the liquid is uh, liquid gets collected in the cup and the tea leaves get collected in the strainer so such methods of separation are called simple physical methods of separation okay so by these kinds of me uh, methods of separating we cannot separate the components of a tea or substances now let's see these are of two types elements and compounds so elements are made up of same kind of atoms whereas compounds are made up of different kinds of atoms so we'll discuss about the elements and the compounds in the next video today's class work you will fill in the blanks everything around us is made up of tiny particles called dash and dash substance do not have a uniform composition throughout see dash and dash comprise pure substances then second question define an atom b number a molecule three number question what is a pure substance list the properties of a pure substance is the fourth question okay so you will do all these questions and for homework you will uh, read the topic which is discussed today write terms you need to know uh, given in page number 32 and 33 for your homework